Hi everyone. Today's topic is war pile structure in which we go through the introduction of pile structures, war pile fabrics produced with aid of wires and different structures, loop pile and cord pile structures, twin shared formation techniques, techniques of anchoring of piles, W windings, war pile produced on face to face technique and its manufacturing process and its design draft denting and interlacement diagrams. First, what is a pile structure? In a pile structure, a proportion of threads, either warp or weft, are made to project at right angle from the foundation structure and form pile on the surface. Uh, in, uh, in pile structure, if the pile formed by the warp, then it's called warp pile structures. If the pile is formed by the weft threads, then the structure is called weft pile structures. And may <coughs> silent features of these pile structures are the projecting threads may be caught or loop, thus resulting in the formation of caught pile or loop pile. War pile structure consists of one series of weft and at least two series of warp threads, namely grounds and pile ends, but both are separately beamed. To produce warp pile fabrics, mainly three methods are used that are by insertion of wires, second on face to face principle, third one that is terry pile that's using special read motion. Next, war pile fabrics produced with add of wires. That's uh, <coughs> to manufacture the war pile structures in loom with add of wires, wire is in short. Yeah, to produce pile, a wire is in short across the width of war into a set formed only by the pile ends. And the cross section dimension of the wire determines the height of the pile. After insertion of number of picks and wires, the wire farthest away from the fell of the cloth is withdrawn, leaving the loops which are formed over the surface of the cloth. And the withdrawn wire is reinserted at the fell of the cloth again and the large number of wires between two points two points of wires is necessary mainly to prevent the loops being pulled back by the tension of the pile yards next the cross sectional dimension of the wire determines the height of the pile that is repeat repeated uh, next the pile yeah, the loop is formed if the plane wire are used and the cord pile is formed if the wires has a cutting blade at its tip. But both types are produced in the same way. The war pile fabrics can be produced in two different ways in the loom. First, wire is insert alone and second one that is insertion of wire and a peak simultaneously that is using yeah, by using twin shared techniques the first to on construction point of view for wire if wire is in short alone that is for the pile threads are only raised for the wires the examples A and B that is given in the next slide and for the insertion of a to construct a design in the method of insertion of a peak and wire simultaneously 
in this design the pile threads are raised for both peak and wire in case of wire is insert alone the pile threads are only raised for the wires and in case of insertion of peak and wire simultaneously that's the pile threads are raised for both peak and wires that is the peak which is insert with the wire simultaneously well for the both the pile threads are raised off in the next slide we can see a and b are the designs of war uh, the war pile form in the method of wire is in short alone in the a in the design a the ground weave is plain ground is to pile proportion that is 2 is to 1 and peak is to wire in uh, ratio is 2 is to 1 and the design b the ground weave is 2 of 1 down 2 of 1 down 2, uh, two of 1 down rib uh, that is mistakenly written and ground is to pile ratio ground end and pile end ratio 2 is to 1 and peak is to wire that is 3 is to 1 you can see in the pile threads are flowed back side of the fabric and it is only raised for the wires it is the specifically noted these pile threads are only raised off for wire only and otherwise it is uh, float at the back side of the fabric that is a loose back pile structure we can say it is loose back pile structures and similarly uh, in simultaneous insertion of peak and wire we can construct the war pile structures this example C and D we can see the in design C the uh, weave is for ground weave, ground weave is plain weave and ground is to peak pile ratio 2 is to 1 and peak is to wire ratio 2 is to 1 in both the cases you can compare A design A and C both have uh, same parameters that is ground is plain and ground ground is plain weave in both the cases ground to pile ratio 2 is to 1 peak is to wire 2 is to 1 everything is same but method of construction is different that is wire is in short alone and in C wire is in short a insertion of a peak and wire simultaneously so this difference you can see in the interlacement diagrams in case of simultaneously insertion the pile threads are raised for both peak and wire in in the design d the we take the ground weave that is two of two down twill in next there is warp cord pile structures as you know the warp cut piles and warp loop pile both are formed in the same manner but main difference is that the plain wires are used in loop pile structures but in case of cut pile structures cutting wires are used or we can say the <coughs> blade <coughs> a blade is fixed in the wire at its tip so during withdraw of the wires it caught the loops yeah caught the pile threads as a result caught pile structure is formed so both are uh, both are formed in the similar manner <coughs> in that in this two designs first one that is ground is plain weave and in second that is ground is two of two down rib uh you can see in this both the designs the pile threads after cutting it it <coughs> create the shape that is u u structures it is also you can say it's u bindings as it later in the in the design in the slide that is w bindings 
in case of w bindings the file threads are uh, file threads are given a another interlacement with the peaks in between the wires at that time the file threads are in form a design that is w so that is called w bindings but in in this structure loop piles or cut piles it are the u bindings next twi twin shared formation techniques twin shared that the name suggests that is two shards are formed simultaneously the so generally in twin shared techniques is mostly used to produce war piles with aid of wires in case of simultaneously insertion of a peak and wire twin shear techniques is used in this technique wire is inserted into a special high depth shear formed by the pile yarn simultaneously weft is inserted by the shuttle into a low shear formed by the ground ends in this twin shear one the lower shear is formed by the ground ends and the high depth of shear is formed by the pile yarns for the in, for the insertion of wire and but to obtain special effects wire is in short alone but this is generally avoided as the wire insertion takes time same as the insertion of a weft and wire itself doesn't add the length of the cloth woven because take off is only operative during picking this is the main reason that's why the simultaneously insertion of a pick and wire is preferred than wire insert alone next techniques of anchoring of files anchoring of files anchoring of pile means the torques that are formed in the pile structure fixed or fast as far as possible on the surface of the fabric therefore the torques are not easily pulled out from the foundation structure the to achieve this anchoring of piles two main ways are used first one by using two beams for ground ends and second by using w bindings it is also called fast back structure in case of uh, two ground beams one beam is held tightly and other is comparatively loose so the pile ends or tops are formed by, formed by the pile ends are firmly fixed in the foundation structure it is uh, described in, in details uh, in the classes and in the second by using w bindings in w binding the pile ends are given another interlacement with the picks between the wires so the structure is also called as fast pile structure but in the loose pile structure all the pile ends are only raised over the wire otherwise it will float back side of the fabric still now the warp pile structures and cord pile structures all are loose back structures yeah loose pile structures next that is w winding structures the in case of w binding structure as it is this as i have already told that is the peaks here yeah, the pile ends are given another interlacement with the peaks in between the wires so you can see the pile threads are raised in the first design you can see the pile ends is for first peak it is down and for second peak it is up and next for the third peak it is down and for the wire it is up so in between wires it is raised off for a peak and you can see in the interlacements it is you can see the after cutting the tops create a w structure so or that's why that is called w bindings so that it is not easily pulled out and in first structure the ground weave is two of one down rib and ground is to pile ratio is 2 is to 1 and peak is to wire that is 3 is to 
one and in second design that is ground if three of one down rib <coughs> next that is war pile fabrics produced on face to face techniques face to face principle is an alternative method of manufacturing of war cord pile fabrics in which two cloths are woven simultaneously and pile is produced without aid of wires that is specially nowadays the face to face, face, -to -face techniques is mostly adopted due to its increased productivity because two fabrics are formed simultaneously and it's specially used to produce war cut pile fabrics it is mostly adopted to produce war cut pile fabrics nowadays so why face to face technique is preferred than wire insertion method to produce war cut pile fabrics as you know in case of wire insertion method cut piles is formed by using cutting blades or cutting wires in uh, in place of plain wires if plain wires is used then a loop pile is formed if cutting wires is used then cut pile is formed but face to face technique is preferred than wire insertion system to produce wire pile uh, wire cut pile, pile fabrics is mainly two reasons due to greatly increased product production and not necessity of more floor space as compared to wire insertion system the face to face principle is mostly preferred to wire method wire insertion method for the production of wire cut pile fabric last side you can see the image uh, in between top cloth and bottom bottom cloth the arrow mark indicates the position of the cutting knife that is moved transversely reciprocating knife during the weaving process to cut the pile to cut the pile threads as a result cut pile is formed so two cloths thus form the bottom cloth with the pile facing off and the top cloth with the pile facing down next the cloths are passed in contact with the separate take up rollers that in two cloths obviously two take up rollers are required uh, because two cloths are formed simultaneously and in this principle the fabrics are woven in either single shuttle or double shuttle principles next in this <coughs> image you can see the first uh, <coughs> face to face techniques of single shuttle method and double shuttle method so in <coughs> you can see the designs that is <coughs> for single shuttle method the cross mark is used for the top fabrics warp end and the circles are used for bottom fabric warp ends t stands for top um, uh, ground ends for the top fabrics and b stand for bottom fabrics and in peaks that is to tt that is top fabric and b for bottom so so that according to the double cloth principle first two are the uh, top means it is uh, just treated as face and bottom is just treated as back so you can see if, if you take the face weave a uh, plain weave for the both then um, both the top ends yeah both the warp end of the top fabric interlace with the plain weave and similarly both the back ends are interlace with the plain weave with the bottom picks but you can see the top ends all the top ends are raised off for the bottom picks at the principle of double cloth principle so in case of single shuttle method all the top ends are raised off for the bottoms you have for the bottom picks in this manner you can you can produce the single shuttle method designs and in case of double shuttle method uh, as two shuttles uh, two sets are formed simultaneously so that two shuttles are uh, <coughs> two picks are inserted simultaneously uh, so in this manner the first peak 
represent for the two peaks and second peak for the another two peak and first peak for the top one uh, <coughs> uh, in the first peak one top peak and one bottom peak both are inserted simultaneously so you can see first end is raised off for the top and first end for the back it is also raised off and for the second peak the second end the second end of the top and the second end of the bottom both are raised so in this manner double shuttle method in double shuttle method we can produce uh, create the design and the drafts as you can see uh, first we draw the pile ends and then the ground ends and in both interlacement diagram you can we can see the in, uh, both interlacement interlacement diagrams uh, in the single shuttle methods for at a time two peaks are inserted uh, so there is a gap in between two to first two peaks of the for the top fabrics and second two peaks for the bottom fabrics accordingly these are these are arranged and in double shuttle method at a time two peaks are inserted that is one face one for face and one for back so in this manner this interlacement diagram is also